Today, people across the nation are recognizing Juneteenth, but today also marks the end of National Black Family Cancer Awareness Week. And joining us to talk about the prevalence of cancers in the black community is family physician, Dr. C. Nicole Swiner. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Once again, it's been a minute since yes, we sir. got together. <laughs> black people are more likely to die from prostate, lung, and breast cancers than other races. Mm -hmm. Why is that? A lot of different reasons probably need more time than just our, our talk today. But one thing that has been really interesting lately is um, a phenomenon called weathering. Mm. It has to do with stress from like racial issues, socioeconomic issues on actual DNA. It changes gene structure. It actually makes people more at risk for cancers and other diseases. So that's one big thing that's come up recently. But of course, access to care, going in regularly for your screenings, getting those things done and check with your doctor make a big deal. So what can these uh, populations do to increase survival rates? Uh, going in for your yearly physical exams is a start, particularly if you're at high risk for certain diseases, if you know your family history, which is another issue. A lot of us don't know grandmother, great-grandmother's history about, you know, things like cancer, but going in for your annual checkups with your providers will at least be a start for saying, I need to get this, I'm due for that, I'm due for this. Yeah, and I always think, uh, you know, the wives should just make the appointment <laughs> for the men. <laughs> Because they don't make them go. Because they don't. Men also need to be vigilant about this when That's it comes right. to to things like prostate exams. Right? That's right. And th a lot of things have changed. You know, the the national guidelines change almost daily. It feels like, mm -hmm. particularly for prostate cancer. When you talk to guys about prostate cancer, they think about getting their digital rectal exams. Right. The, the key to that, though, is that we're not really recommending that anymore. So you have to go in and talk to your provider about what is the right thing to do, how often should I get my PSA blood level checked, and what's my risk. Yeah, the PSA, a, yeah. a big thing there. A few mm -hmm. years ago, researchers uncovered a connection between hair straightening products and an increase in breast, ovarian, uterine cancers. I remember doing all these stories when it came out. Has there been any additional data since that initial, initial revelation? Nothing solid. I've actually been talking to my you know, friends and colleagues mm -hmm. that are hairstylists and cosmetologists. I mean, the big thing that's happening now is they are removing a lot of that stuff that we know mm -hmm. is related to cancer, like formaldehyde and the sodium hydroxides. They're re removing those products and creating new types of relaxers. Or women are just deciding not to get relaxers or getting less frequently now to reduce potential risk. Okay, yeah, because I, I recall doing those stories uh, mm -hmm. often a couple of years ago. Yeah. Most important thing uh, a lot of folks can do, talk to your physician, Correct. share medical history with your family members when you find out that information, right? Correct. And stay up to date with your annual exams. All right. Yeah. Do it. It's time. Dr. C. Nicole Swiner, thank you so much for joining us. Such an important topic this week. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.